Hi everyone, this is Crossbone Vanguards, I'm Dancer and with me is a Captain. Hi! So today we're gonna do another unboxing video which is the most recent technical booster GTCB02. The genius strategy. Woohoo! Yes. So um, this is the latest release in Cover Vega G. Mm -hmm. So we're doing an unboxing video as we always do since um, I don't know where we started. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, like the previous technical booster, the Reckless Rampage, there is no Japanese uh, version of the title here. So what you see is for both English and Japanese. But Japanese um, pronunciation aside, the, the alternative Japanese name is Tensai Tekina Sendaku. Just want to put it out there. So. All right. So. <laughs> All right. So at the front, we have the three G rares that are featured over here. We've got Shibaru Kubasta, Optirandus, and Afak. So as you can see, this set boosts the three clans: Murakumo, Mega Colony, and Great Nature. Just like the last technical booster, um, which featured uh, Tachikaze, uh, Nobatama, and Spike Riders. Yeah. Yeah. So they do. They're following it up with the same um, design, just different colors, different units, and it looks pretty. And it's smarter. <laughs> smarter. Sort of. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So let's take a look around the box first uh -huh. before we get into anything. So we have the sides, we have the three EGRs as well again. Yep, just make sure you guys Can you see, see it? It's flashing. Okay. It's flashing then in front, same thing, Kappa Manga G, fifth anniversary. Yep. And the back, uh, barcodes for the retailers. And on the side you'll get the information of what this box actually contains, uh, the clans here. Mm -hmm. uh, now this is just like the um, the clan booster for for Bruno Triangle last um, release. So you've got seven cards. Two of them are rare and above, and yep. there's twelve in each box. Twelve packs in each box. Yep. So it's essentially so the same essentially thing. there. Then in yep. here, then you have uh, three GRs, one for each clan. Mm -hmm. um, six double tri six double triple R's. 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 Six R's. triple R's. Okay. Two for each clan. Uh, twelve double R's. You, you get the division and. Yep. Um, Rares and commons uh, right there. So mm -hmm. um, this is so. Um, are we gonna expect anything from like the last technical booster? Because uh, the last technical yes. booster, um, they had um, three foils in this box. Only three foils. Three foils in each box. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not sure how the distribution is right now. Mm -hmm. But one thing for sure. Is oh wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. There's actually six foils in there. Two for each clan. Ah, yes, yes, uh, yes. So I'm pretty sure they will have the same thing for this. Mm -hmm. uh, but the rest of the distribution, we are not too sure until we see it. Right. Yeah, so uh, before we open, mm -hmm. we just uh, take this time to explain some of the, the stuff that are introduced in this as well because uh -huh. these three clans have their new uh, new keywords. keywords. So for Murakomo, we have Shadow Stitch, uh, Mega Colony, we have Dark Device, and for Great Nature, we have Success. Yeah, so we'll go from there, we'll explain um, in the order that we just stated. So yep. uh, I'll start with Murakomo. Okay. Uh, with Sh Shadow Stitch, right? Basically, what Shadow Stitch actually denotes is that it is a skill that activates when your attack miss. Yep. So uh, they'll state uh, as such Shadow Stitch, Auto Ability or Continuous Ability whatever. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when this unit attacks, usually it states when this unit attacks and then if the attack miss then something happens. Yes. The something happens will change uh, will change from depending on the card itself. Mm -hmm. But it will always be based on uh, when the attack misses and the attack did not hit. Yeah. So that is Shadow Stitch. Mm -hmm. And which believe it or not is a new kind of thing for Murakumo because Murakumo has always been known to clone um, certain cards uh, of the same copy of the same name to the field but never what? actually dealt with attacking itself. Uh, never dealt with attacking itself but this one takes that the, the concept and adds it to the current known um, mechanic of Murakumo. Correct. So there are some cards in there that will find copies of themselves also. Yep. But anyways we have the actual description um, on the screen Already, you've seen it on the screen already. So wait, then, wait, wait, from wait. there, so yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So next, we were going to talk about uh, dark device, mega colony. Mm -hmm. So dark device denotes that um, this your this unit gets the skill for dark device if your opponent has no units that can stand or in stand position as the there as the same column as that unit. It's only it, it's only um in stand position. It's not it cannot stand. Ah right. Yeah. So, so essentially. No rear guards also means that there is no unit in the stand, uh, stand position. So, yep. uh, this, I mean, how, it how plays on. It plays yeah, on, it plays okay. on to the known mechanic of um, of um, mega, colony. mega colony, just like how charge was with Spike Brothers. Yeah, yeah. So in that regard, it's about the same as well. So it's nothing new to to uh, long time mega colony players. Well. Yeah, it's just something, some bonus for them. That's yeah. all. Yeah, right. So the last one is uh, success. I'll let them take success for this one. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So success denotes um, 
Again, it denotes because every clan denotes. <laughs> We're smart today! <laughs> Alright, so success is a skill. Uh, it's similar to burst, it's similar to rescue, things like that. Uh, where it, the skill activates only if your rear guard has hit a certain number. So far, as we have seen, uh, success has only 20k and 25k. Yes. So when your rear guard hits that number, success will activate. Uh, it's a your vanguard becomes a success. No 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 no. That's uh no because I read it up again. Uh huh. Yeah. So um with success right, if the it, regards also will have a success ability. Oh also. right. Okay. So uh when another regard basically basically uh, not success itself. yeah not itself when another regard reaches that power of twenty k or twenty five k whatever the number denotes mm -hmm. then that unit that has that success ability will enter success state. Will become successful. Will become successful. And then from there the skills will be able to activate. So ah, when it's okay. in success state. Interesting. Yeah. So it's not. Uh, your Vanguard becomes successful, the card itself will become successful. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yep. Because most of the time we see only Vanguard having a success, yes. which, but we haven't really seen it for rear guards yet yeah. at the time. So, mm -hmm. okay, that's a mistake. But we'll see whether we, we find any in here. La. So, yep. uh, is that all that we have to say? I think we'll just get straight yeah. to opening the box now. All let's right. look at what this from Flap says. Good idea! Good idea. No, very good idea. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> it's a very, very good idea. Best idea. <laughs> Best idea, yeah. Right. Okay. So we're opening two of these boxes because since they are technical boosters, they're technically half of a BT, so. Yep. Um, right, so the front here we have the card list, as usual, and some deck recipes that you can try out for each respective clan. Yep. And basically, that's about it. There's really nothing much. It's, it's the typical thing. It's so the typical thing, so we can just. Pass it one side. Yeah. So now let's look at the packaging very very quickly mm -hmm. before we get to the opening. Uh, the packaging same as the front of the box, as you can see. Yep. Um, with the the three GR units right there, looking very nice, presentable and such. Mm -hmm. Just like the old technical booster. Yep. And at the back, same thing. Plan details, all the stuff that you get from inside the box, information. But what do you think of this color? I mean, it's uh, the colors may look a bit tacky, but I think it's befitting. I mean, I like the. Green of this, just maybe not. It's green. turquoise actually, not green. turquoise. Yeah. yeah, green turquoise. Mm, what? What? It's more like a Vocaloid um, WS to start. <laughs> Alright, but, but I digress. Yeah, so we're digressing. So let's just get straight to this pack of green. Let's see what we get. All right. This guy, yeah, that guy. <laughs> the first unit that we found out that has the success ability, how about success? And it restands. Mega Colony. First GR, right there. Oh, oh nice. Optirandus. Uh, Optirandus. Damn it! We must never let Ben see this. <laughs> oh, guess what? Sylvester is back. Uh -huh. Sylvester is back. Now he can finally be used. <laughs> <laughs> We got an SP. PG. <laughs> that's anticlimactic. I know, right? Damn it, lah. Hey, but oh, that's the other PG, so. Oh. Oh, not the non SP, huh? Yeah. Yep. Try to keep to your side first, cause yeah, we sure. see Oh, we've box. got big belly. Oh, I got big belly. So we've opened the two boxes worth and 
this is what we got and we found out something that is very interesting. Cap, I'll leave it to you to say it up. Because <laughs> you know it better than I do. Okay, this is basically um, just my um, thoughts on this because um, as I thought, um, in each box, we, we separate down in the clans, right? But um, it, it is just like the first technical booster where you only get two of each, uh, in terms of the double R's and triple R's, you will get two of each clan in the four. So one box, uh, half of it will be foils and six, uh, and then there will be two Morokomos, two uh, Mega Colonies, two Great Nature foils that you'll get in one box. Yeah. However, we managed to get one of these SPs for Morokomos, and counting the number of foils that we get, including the SPs, we ended up having 13 cards, as you can count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. 13. So, um, it brings up the suspicion on my part that your... Because there's 7 cards and 2 of them are rares and above. Mm. Guaranteed rares and above. Yep. So, it, it, gives, it made me came to the conclusion that um, your, if you get an SP, you're actually getting an extra foil because your SP will actually replace one of your rats instead of one of your foils. Mm. So you so say like we got this SP as you can see here. We will explain the skills later on, but this is just sort of explaining what you might expect in the box and what our findings are. So so if you manage to get an SP, you might actually might be able to get two copies of this. But unfortunately, this came for two separate boxes. Yeah. Uh, but you get the idea that you might potentially get the SP and might get a second copy of it some in the same box as well mm. because this might. Be be replacing the rest, which I believe is kind of good on Bushra's part actually, because they do not deny, they give you extra, and they only deny you your rares rather than um, deny you one of your foils. I would say it's a hit and miss, really. Because it's a, if you need the rares, then it works against you. That's true, but your rares, you already have a guaranteed rare, yeah, in there already, and the seven in the pack, which two of them are rare and above, so. Mm. Um, but yes, uh, that's just what we think, that's just the theory that we're putting out. So if you go into a technical booster, you open your box and you find an SP, chances mm -hmm. are right, you will find, you will have, end up having 7 falls instead of st the usual 6 that you should get from this. Yep. Yep. So um, that's out of the way, so let's go straight into the, the, the mechanics of it at the same. And uh, we'll go straight into the card skills. Yep. Yep. So we'll start from Depth's side with uh, Morocco Mo as well, since it's the odd one. Yeah. Out clan out of the other <laughs> in terms of the nation. So Alright. Uh, right. So we start with the Morokomo side. So we got the SP for, for this card here, which is what's the name that's if you can read the it. The name is I can't really see. Give me a moment. Um just read out the, the it's Shiz actual name. Okay, so. Shizune. Shizune. Right. I won't read the full name because it's very yeah, complicated. You can see the card right now on the yeah. screen as you see mm -hmm. the full name right there and then it's actually your perfect cards for Morokomo. Yep. Um, so it's um, standard uh, when you when this unit appears in the uh, Guardian Circle from hand you may pay the cost which is drop one card from your hand if you do uh, your your Vanguard cannot be hit. So yep. Choose one of your Vanguards and that unit, and that unit cannot be hit. So that's your perfect cards. Uh, but the second skill is more important because um, uh, I guess it's a generation break one so plus one. Um, Shadow Stage ability, can you read it for me? Then? Sure. Um, oh, yeah. when this, okay, when your unit with Shadow Stage in its ability tags, attack hits a Vanguard, mm -hmm. you may pay the cost which is so plus one. If you do, return this unit to your head. Ah, okay, right. So this is falling in line with some of the other PGs that's coming out like Reyes, Red Leaf and all that. Most of the time, in fact, yeah. Yeah, well, all the clients are starting to get it already. So yeah. uh, with this, um, this allows you to to bounce the you we can essentially call this unit call your perfect guards out to the field if you need it mm -hmm. and then you can ha essentially have it bounce back to your hand in this yep. case it bounces back to your hand when your when your other unit with um in one of your units with the shadow stage ability misses hits the, oh hits is it yes oh when it which hits. is a great pressure because shadow stage works both ways uh, if you want it to hit this will kick in. If you don't want it to hit, Shadow Stage kicks in. Mm. So it gives your opponents uh, uh, something else to think about when they are guarding. Yeah, so basically is if it doesn't hit, something happens. If it does hit, this it, happens. This happens. <laughs> it's bound to hit anyway. It's yes. either that or you run out of counter blocks. That's what yeah. we do things as such. Alright, so then we've got um, the... Well, this is the um, Yasui Critical. Yeah. Um, just in line with like uh, Kusanagi and your your Brick Pass and your um, other stuff as well. I mean, not remembering most of the clans here, but yes, uh, this is basically your critical trigger. The name is Mas Yoto no Jin uh, no Ninki Masamura. Masamura. Yeah. Right. So Masamura. So you want to read the skill for me, Dems? Okay. Sure. When your Vanguard hit, uh, attacks, 
Uh, if you have a Yasui Vanguard, you may pay the cost which is to move this card to Soul. If you do, draw one, choose a Vanguard, and then turn, uh, then battle plus 5k. Right, so, um, it's just like the run of the mill, um, criticals that you have, so it's the flush, um, that you... <laughs> <laughs> Wow, not so bad. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to, to make the sounds work, so because okay. uh, we hit the flush on there. So let's just move on straight into the next card, which is the most interesting card I find in this entire box, which is this one, right? Yep. Okay, Keto Ryuo Zangeki. Mm -hmm. So it's dueling Dragon King Zangeki. Mm -hmm. So his first skill, which is an auto vanguard skill, counter blast one during your opponent's main at the start of your opponent's main phase. If you if you have a dueling dragon Zambaku in your soul, you may pay the cost, which is counter blast one. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his vanguards, and during that turn, it gets the skill. Um, when this unit attacks, you may you may choose one card from his hand and drop it. If you don't drop it during that battle, this unit gets drive minus two. Right. So what's the continue with the skills? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So his second skill is an X skill for rear guard, rear guard skill. Mm -hmm. um, Counter Blast 1 and retire this unit. Search your deck for a Dueling Dragon Zambaku, up to two copies. Mm -hmm. And for each of uh, for from among them, one goes to the soul, the other goes to the rearguard circle. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but okay, put one of them into the soul and call the other to the rearguard circle. Uh -huh. And shuffle your deck at the end of the turn, that unit that is called with this effect bounces back to your hand. Mm. So it's perfect for activating his other skill, which means. Um, you would want to write to Zangeki instead of Zambaku now, mm -hmm. or you can write in Zangeki, uh, Zambaku, then write to Zangeki because that waste one turn. Mm. Yeah, so here's the why I call it the most interesting card in the world because Zambaku only appears in EB01, the first comic booster. And this is not GEB, not the Cosmic Raw, this is the comic style EB01 that came out years ago. You mean for Zambaku? No? Zambaku, I'm ah. sorry. So, okay. so that's what's most interesting because unless you're a long time player like us, you're gonna have a hard time finding uh, Zambaku. Zambaku. And to those people that have sold away the Zambakus because it's useless at the time, yes, it was at the time, it was pretty good at the time, but now it's not really in this case. But with this, yep. the, the deck is actually coming back, which is much yep. more interesting. And the same reason why I share Affinity with you because that Trooper R slot was shared with Perfect Riser. <laughs> in that same so, under, <laughs> so, Bushiro has given you an answer. If you sold that Zambaku deck away, yeah, it was a good idea. Good idea! <laughs> if you still have the Zambaku parts, hey, more power to you. This card will be very interesting. Yes. Not only interesting in that fact, but also because at the start of your main at the start of your opponent's main phase. Yeah. So it's after he strikes or before he strikes, which means that you know there's no way that you can dodge his skill yeah. while while you are while you are in um, Zangeki mode. So while you yeah. while you are Zangeki as your mega. Correct. Right, so that's it for the Morocco one. Anything else you wanna mention? That's about it actually, there's really nothing much to say because th these are the only ones we get. Yeah, um, these are the, the other cards that we, are, yeah. that we got as well, but we're only showing you guys what we have gotten in this box. So. We're not as lucky. We're That's not that lucky. <laughs> the only, our luck went up with the with the Blessing of Divas, because that one had Blessing in the name. So but that was just we were, me! Yeah, yeah, that one had Blessing in the name, so that's why we were blessed to find the G Oh no, actually we found another GR over here. Okay. But yeah, you get the point, so we finally found the... the okay, let's move on, because we're ramping. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to Great Nature right now. Alright, so the first card we have here is a G Guardian of Great Nature. His name is Kinjo no Shuseki Arujiro Ardillo. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So there are true facts about the Ardillo. <laughs> 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 Alright, so his G Guardian skill is when this unit appears on a Guardian Circle, choose as many rear guards as you like, retire them, and um, if you have three or more rear guard circles with no units on them, during the battle, this unit plus 10k shield. Mm -hmm. So you have you can choose up to, which means you can choose zero as well. If you already have the spaces for it, you have the empty regard circles for it, then you already have the planted plus 10k shield. The plus 10k shield. Yeah, so yeah, that's why it says choose as many as you like. Choose you as choose many zero, like so you can choose zero. And then if you have three or more, then this unit plus 10k shield, which is actually very, very good. And yeah. it also procs, it might proc some of the the skills where if it gets retired and things happen. Uh, only if it activates not on your own turn. Only. Uh, on your, yeah. So it really depends not on the end of the end phase, basically. Yeah. The end phase. But it does it does have a cop block against Mega Colony. 
Mm, that's very but good. But right mm. now, we've talked to you guys out of the day, it wasn't reason. Uh, <laughs> right, so the next card that we have here is... Uh, Sage Saint Professor Big Belly! I memorized the name. <laughs> you memorized the name, so I'll leave you. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Yeah, since it's your card, so I will... Um, you sure? It. You sure it's my card? Okay, anyway. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so his skill is uh, X skill, once per turn, GB2, counter blast 1 and flip 1 Sage, uh, Sage Saint Professor Big Belly face up. So choose one of your rear guards during that turn for every G zone face up card plus 4k mm -hmm. and choose one of your units during that turn it gets the auto skill vanguard or rear guard when this unit's attack hits a vanguard choose the same number as just the same number of your rear guards as the number of face up cards in your G zone and stand them mm. So it plays for very good pressure and uh, most of the time because it powers up the rear guard Normally what people do is they give that skill to the rear guard as well mm -hmm. But it also depends because you can give your rear guard the uh, hugely, insanely huge power uh -huh. And you give your own vanguard instead the skill uh, yep. when it hits standard the, the rear guards and all So yep. it really depends on what how you play it mm -hmm. So we leave that to you We leave that to you to figure out how to play it so, yep. But you can sort of imagine how with um, Big Belly and with his own strike skills also and all the other stuff that goes into a great nature deck. Mm -hmm. In this day and age, it's pretty easy to tell a like, lot of, where to go. So. A lot of one hit pressures also. Yeah, there's a lot of one hit pressures. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now let's move on to the last one which is... Uh, read the name for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I believe his name is Arusha. Yeah, Tokunin Kyoju Arusha. Something Professor Arusha. Honorary, is it? Honor... <laughs> I said it went Chinese there. Oh, okay. Right, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, um, it, this is one of the, the new mega, uh, mega... One of the new Great Nature cards uh -huh. with the success ability. So, his first skill is Success 25. Mm -hmm. So, when another of your rear guards hits 25,000 uh, power or higher, mm -hmm. then this unit will go into success state. Yep, right. So, that's a uh, key important thing to remember because... Um, which is much later on in the bottom, so but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get to that. Um, it's a second skill is a GB1 Vanguard. Um, when this unit, oh, actually, it applies here. So when this <laughs> unit is in success state, you may pay the cost, which is, uh, which is uh, choose one card in your hand and drop it and drop one card from your hand. Uh -huh. so, uh, discard it. Uh, you may pay the cost if you do this unit. Stand this unit. Yep. So uh, this unit, when this unit goes into success state, so basically when you have a rear guard that hits 25k and above, mm -hmm. when it goes into success state, you can drop one card from your hand and this unit will stand as yep. a rear So this is a freestanding mega. Mm -hmm. Then the sec then the third skill that it has is uh, also GB1 as well. So, so when this unit attacks, um, choose one of your rear guards and for the turn, it gets plus 4k. Then this unit, this unit, uh, Arushit himself, mm -hmm. will get the skill. Uh, this unit cannot be affected by trigger effects. Right, so this unit cannot, so whenever you drive check uh, uh, a trigger, you cannot pump the 5k or the critical or whatever ability to heal himself. himself. Yeah. Which means one thing, you cannot heal yourself. You can actually, because healing is not too uh, specific to a vanguard. Uh, no, uh, no uh, uh, this one may, may be subject to debate, lah, so, ah, right. but this might be subject to debate, but I believe that you cannot, but if you, this ability is active, right, mm. you cannot heal yourself because uh, take for example what rescue says. Choose one of your vanguard. Uh, choose one of your vanguard. Oh, choose one of your vanguards and deal damage. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, right. Healing is a healing thing. is a different thing. Yes. Okay, right. But, <laughs> but it cannot. Uh, again, we leave it to debate. Yeah, uh, we leave it up to debate. Yeah. So, but right now with uh, with our shit, you Arushan. cannot. Uh, Arushan, you <laughs> shit is Nova Grappler. <laughs> Arushan, Arushan, yeah, sorry, I'm a Nova <laughs> player. So, uh, with this unit specifically, uh, you cannot give it the criticals. Yes, you cannot give it. Um, you cannot give it. Not that it matters. You can't give it instead. You yep. cannot, uh, it can still draw, it can still draw, but you cannot give it critical triggers. I think only affects critical triggers in the regard. Yes. But the 5k, you cannot add it to yourself. You only have to give it to the regards, which means that this the success is more focused on regards now more than ever. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for it to have a restanding ability, I think that's decent as a trade off. But the power wise, you'll have to really think of how to give him the power. Yeah. Whether it's from the booster or from anywhere else. It really depends. I actually just realized how dated this card is with the restanding ability. It does. It's like Dungeon like Dogma, but of course like, it has to be him. So, yes. Um, Twin Drive. Nah, actually, do you, even you get 3 cards back and such. Do you yeah. even success? Alright. So that's all the, the, 
great nature. Yep. Let's move on to the Mega Colony now. So, um, this is actually most people's underground plan, I believe. Yeah. Mega Colony. <laughs> Considering their mafia group, yeah, that's, that's mafia. Group. <laughs> so, we'll start off with the um, the G Garden that we have here. This okay. is. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> Just pass the cup casually. Kaijin Yosai Grice Photo. <laughs> right? Right. So you, you you're saying the name right now. So uh, this is G Guardian. So it's skill. Um, when your vanguard is attacked, uh, yeah. When your okay, when your vanguard is being attacked by your opponent's vanguard during the battle, then your vanguard is being attacked by your opponent's vanguard. Mm -hmm. uh, when this unit appears in the guardian circle, uh, you may pay the cost, which is Calabas one. If you do, choose all of your opponent's back row. I believe it's back row. Is it back row? Yes, all the micro. Okay, now you remember that keyword as micro. Okay, yeah. so uh, choose all of your choose all of your opponent's units in the back row. Mm -hmm. Re uh, choose all of your rested unit. Uh, choose all of your opponent's rested units in the back row. And for the battle, um, if oh no no no, rest all of your opponent's units yeah, in the back row. Sorry, sorry sorry. <laughs> rest all of your opponent's units in the back row. Then for that battle, uh, for every two of Two of your opponent's units at rest. This unit plus five k. So if his entire if his entire view and all of them are at rest, so this unit is plus fifteen k guard. So this is actually your first thirty k guard unit. Potentially yes. Potentially. Imagine if you fight against Legion also. Oh, actually no, that wouldn't make sense. Also. Yeah, but this that's that saves one card less. Yeah. Let's say it's one card less as well. So this is potentially a 30k guard if you can get all of your opponent's units at rest. In full field as well. Yeah. But the weird thing is it focuses on the back row resting. No, it focuses no back row resting is part and parcel of it. Because most people when they, they want their attack, they want their, their front row to attack. That means if they want to avoid um dark device which is new mechanic, mm -hmm. yeah, they will not they'll they'll keep the unit at the back and rest. So it so it's a prime target actually. But what if your opponent's vanguard attacks first? Then this wouldn't work at all. Our opponents are vanguard attack first, uh, yeah. But then yeah, it, that's still four. But you vanguard attack first, you rest the entire back row. One, two, three, four. You still yeah, you still get the what lah. So. You still get the what lah, but you won't get the DK lah. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is potentially <laughs> this is the DK card. Yeah. It's a potential 30k card. Right. So let's All move right. on to the next one. Okay, the next one is Zanku de Show. Mm -hmm. Speed uh Superior Mantis. So um, superior Mantis. Superior Mantis. Yep. Yep. So his skill is Dark Device, which is the first that we see here. Mm -hmm. So Dark Device, as we mentioned, um, if, your op if your opponents do not have any units in the same column as this unit that is a stand, it then, then the Dark Device will kick in. So anyway, his skill, Dark Device skill is Counter Blast 1. When this unit appears in a Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle, mm -hmm. you may pay the cost. If you do, um, Choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the same column as this unit, uh -huh. then that unit cannot stand in the next stand phase. Mm -hmm. And then his other skill, which is a GB1 dark device skill as well, mm -hmm. when this unit appears on the rear guard circle, your opponent chooses one card. Sorry, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, then that unit cannot stand during the next stand phase. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, okay, it's it's quite interesting because this plays more of a rear guard rather than a vanguard because vanguard you need counter blast one in, and you can only rest one unit. Yes. But if it appears on a rear guard circle, counter blast one and you get to rest two units. Mm. Paralyzed, in fact. Mm. Paralyzed two units. And yeah, must stand. But that's provided you hit GB one the first time you call it the rear guard circle, which most of the time you will. Yes. But considering what Mega Colony has currently mm. with. Uh, with uh, Dark Face and with um, the other unit, which the name eludes me right now. Uh, now this is a little bit more viable than the the unit that's not Dark Face. Yeah, but yeah, so this is a great tree. So if you want to strike, you gotta consider whether to keep this or use other cards to strike. I mean, in essence, we have we have that problem. Same, you can compare yeah. the problem similarly to like um, between Gurgit and DVD Lancer in the start. That is true. Yeah. So it's give or take lah. So it's one of those two things. The genius strategy. The genius, genius strategy, strategy shows off. <laughs> Here are the true facts about the genius strategy. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah, that was really bad. Okay. So now we move on to the next card. We will leave the GR for last. So this is a perfect guard for. Um... Sorry. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. So uh, this is the perfect guard for a mega colony, which is the Dark Device One. So um, the name I'll. 
is is six something. So. Uh, six horn mutant. Ah, uh, six horn mutant. Uh, so, um, her, her name is Honeymoon Queen. Honeymoon Queen. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, um, again, it's your perfect guard, similar to um the Morocomo one that we have. Mm. However, the third skill is a dark device skill. Mm. Um, GB one. Uh, so when this unit attack hits the vanguard, uh, you may pay the cost, which is so much one. If you do, return this card from your hand. Uh, this is yeah. quite um eh kind of card. It because conflicts with. A lot of ace cards, it like Dark Face. Yes, it conflicts with a lot of the uh, cards that that's already in place for uh, Mary Colin right now. And not only that, also this is a perfect card. This is six K, and it has to hit the Vanguard in order for this card to return to your hand, which is a bit oxymoronic considering that it's a perfect card. You, you do not want to call it out already to begin with. And secondly, if you do call it out in order to get it to bounce back to your hand. You gotta let it hit the vanguard. Oh uh, no 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 no! You and your unit attack hits the vanguard, so it doesn't have to be. It's not specific. When your unit, oh okay, right. So and you know what I just said about <laughs> it. <everything laughs> <is> <laughs> <laughs> but in a, either way, it still conflicts with cards like Dark Face and all because Mega Colony is not known for having a lot of soul. Unless of course in this set you have cards that help you soul charge. But take that away for now. What we have here, it conflicts with cards like Dark Face and all because Dark Face needs the soul to stun your opponent's rear guards for GB2. Yeah. And without Machining Mosquito, there isn't much of an uh, option to soul charge. So this card kind of plays against your favor. So you really have to think how you want to play it. I mean, again, genius strategy. <laughs> genius strategy and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. again, uh, so between him and the current one that we have, the name it looks me currently right now, um, the current charging is probably what you want to use more, you know? Yes. Again, but but by all means, you can use this card and call it as an attacker. Then you can have it bounce back when when this card when the, when you have like the skills that fail and then that device as long as you have yeah as long as it's in the same column as a unit that that it's not that does not have a stand yeah that does not have a stand unit then this thing can bounce back to your hand mm -hmm. some way or another so yeah right so now we move on to the last one which is the gr that we have one with, that's featured on the box as well mm -hmm. uh, can you read the full name uh, I'll give it my best. <laughs> Muho Kaijin of Tirandas. Mabutirandos. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't know what the English one is, but you're reading it right now as you. I think it was. Also. Lawless. Um, Lawless Mutant? Or Lawless Mutant, Mutant Deity. So. Well, whichever lah, yeah. Yeah, Lawless Mutant Deity um, of okay. Tirandas. Yeah. Alright, so this is the most interesting one in this box here for um, Mega Colony. Because um, it's active skill, GB2. Um, active skill, counter, the cost is Counter Blast 2. Counter Blast 2 and drop one card from your hand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, during your uh, until the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent cannot call any units to to his regard circle. Superior calling also counted as well. So you essentially lock your opponent from actually calling any regards to his regard. Damn. <laughs> That's how I can say. Damn. <laughs> this is a lock on your calling ability. So, you're fighting against... So, if, if you are go Paladin and this comes in your way, you have no choice but to suck it up and not get Unite for one turn. Yeah. Because he will lock you down and until then, you cannot superior call from your own deck. Which means that you can also cannot superior call units while he's attacking you. Yes. That's why this thing is active because the, the, the thing says until, until the end of your opponent's yes. turn. So, until the end of your opponent's turn. So, Cards like Rain Breath Dragon or cannot etc. Cannot. None. None. Cannot work. You cannot work. It overrides all the calling abilities of the of your of uh, whatever clan that you're playing. Yeah. Hey, you can still call to Guardian Circle. <laughs> you can still guard. That's one thing. And your rank, and you can still stand if you have units that can still stand. Yep. And you can still draw, but you just cannot call. Yep. So that is essentially. Again, it's back to the eh kind of part because it's like, and then, personally speaking, lah, personally speaking, um, this one is more of like, oh my god, why is this so powerful that, that it locks down, I cannot call. But then when the more you sit down and the more you think about it, you'll be like, I can't call, so what? I can still stand. I can still stand, I can still draw, I can still attack. Yeah. Nothing is hindered. As long as my as long as my opponent isn't dumb enough to, to, to try and retire my time field, I'm not dumb enough to retire my time field, yeah. I can still sort of work with the field that I have. Hey Shadow Paladins, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
So uh, that's all that we have for this but um, what do you think? Uh, wow, there are a lot of cards nowadays that are so broken on their own, of course, on their own. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this is a very interesting addition to these three clans because they give the clans what they lack previously in the previous boost. Mm -hmm. For example, Murakumo, they really needed the extra push because Yasui was not a very viable Vanguard, uh, ace Vanguard himself. So chances are, you know, you really can't do much with just him around. So, but with Shadow Stitch, you can do a lot of superior calling, you can do a lot of cloning and all and uh, you increase the number of attacks and that also gives you the chance to not play stands or if you want to, you can but you know, like just, hey surprise, you know more yeah. like you stand your rigor at the yeah, back, of so, course. Yeah. That's all the thing, lah. So, um, just quickly, we want to mention quickly. Uh, as you can see, this one boosts for Yasui. It also boosts an old um, Zambaka. Zambaka, the dueling dragon. The, du the dueling dragons, basically. Yes. So there's boost for for. There's two different kinds of builds boosted in the the genie strategy. Yeah. Uh, much like the the first one. So for this one, for Murakumo, it's Yasui and dueling dragons. Yep. With um. Uh, great nature. With great nature, it's success. Uh, it's big value is success, and as well as Hamske. So Hamske yes. is now a viable deck now. Yep. And with um, Mega Colony. With Mega Colony, it's um, Dark Device, um, Dark Face, as well as Machinix. No, not just. Oh yeah, the Machinix. Machinix and Giraffa as well. Giraffa, yes, yes. Giraffa also. There's stuff in here as well. Yep. Yeah. I just need to put it out there just to let you guys know what you can expect from this box. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that I have to say. That's all I have to say too. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's all for this. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed what we have so far and all the shenanigans we have. If you want to see more of us uh, and uh, if you like this video, please give us a like and of course subscribe to us for more Crossbone Vanguard shenanigans. I don't know why I'd say that, it's a thing now. <laughs> and of course, follow us on our socials too. We are on, uh, uh, we are on Facebook at Crossbone Vanguards. Uh, follow us on Twitter at CrossbombVGS and of course take a look at our blog at crossbombbangards.wordpress.com So over there you'll see things that we don't usually post on, uh, on our channel things like deck profiles, event coverages, etc 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 and of course <laughs> you just looked away there. Anyway, uh, and of course, if you want to support us further, we have a Patreon page that um, we have uh, lots of interesting perks for you. So if you want to see what we have in store, go go ahead and check it out. I mean, not in the store, but in store for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we really want to give back to you for all the support that we've given us thus far. So the Patreon page is just as much for us as it is for you guys. Yeah. I did it! Yes. Success! Success! <laughs> okay. Right. So we're, we're going to have more stuff in on the Patreon page uh, coming up very soon. So keep up to date with the socials, keep up to date with our Patreons. Yep. And see what we have coming your way. So we might have stuff coming in... Um, like say, I don't know. Do you guys want t-shirts? T-shirts! Do you guys want t-shirts? If you want t-shirts, we'll put them up. So I don't know about you, but I want a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want t-shirts, that's for certain. Yeah. Right. right, so that's all that we have for you today. Yeah. So, so thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.